Hey what is up everyone welcome to another video in this video I have a guest from George Mason University his name is Harshad Harshad was a subscriber a year ago still a subscriber but now turned into a friend I reached out to him is like hey man uh, do you want to share your experience and he recently got an internship at Micron as a data analyst intern he also is studying masters of science in data analytics at George Mason University there's so much value he provided in this video i know this video is going to be a little longer but we talked about the details of the coursework what kind of things you will learn actually if you do masters in data analytics what kind of coursework what kind of skills you require he also talks about how he got the on campus job the cost of living the visa interview his brother has been in united states for more than 10 years so that was a tricky situation for him so we talked about his visa interview i hope you find this conversation uh, helpful and valuable harshad if you're watching this thank you so much for doing this and sharing your journey and experience with us uh, with me and our community means a lot to me i also want to express my gratitude and how grateful i am for all the people who have subscribed who likes my video who puts a comment for me in every single video that means a lot to me it encourages me it motivates me to make more valuable content for you so if you haven't already uh, please like share maybe subscribe and comment that that encourages me and now I will let you watch the conversation. Thanks, Arshad, for doing this. Uh, it means a lot to me and our community. I'm so proud that, uh, you know, I texted you and you you said like, yes, let's do it. Uh, so thank you for doing this. Absolutely, man. It, it, if it wasn't for you, then who else? Thank you so much <laughs> for inviting me to the channel. Thank you. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, that means a lot. So let's uh, let's give a quick intro for people who don't know you. Uh, where are you from in India, and what do you do right now in the United States? So um, I'm from Mumbai. So like most people like to call it Thane, but yeah, I'm from Mumbai, and um, I've been born and brought up in Mumbai. I'm an IT undergraduate from Don Bosco Institute of Technology, Mumbai. Um, so like everybody, I have had an ambition of pursuing my higher studies after being and after seeing the curriculum that I saw at my undergraduate college. Moreover, also that uh, my biggest inspirations behind coming here has been my brother. He was already here when I was in the ninth grade and I had come here for his convocation. He was one of my biggest inspirations why I came here in the first place. And I came to the United States in fall 2019. Um, I'm currently pursuing data analytics at George Mason University, Fairfax, Virginia. I stay with my brother. That is one of the <laughs> lucky things that I have. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. And, and the big thing is that you did got a data analyst intern at Micron, which is, you know, highlight. <laughs> <laughs> Two things. One is, yes, Thane is not a part of Mumbai. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding. But I know a lot of people are from my a lot of people are from <laughs> and they might not like it. But uh, main main thing is that um, I just uploaded uh, a video on data, how to become a data analyst. So right. uh, talking about this is going to be awesome. Uh, so do you give more perspective on uh, what is coursework like and what do you learn in data analyst? But before that, let's give a quick profile background, like. What was your GRE, TOEFL, and bachelor's score? Okay, so I have had an average of 7.4 CGPA during my undergraduate at uh, Don Bosco, which was Mumbai University affiliated. Um, my GRE score was 305 with a AWA of 4.5, that is analytical writing of 4.5. My um, quant score was 160 on 170, and my verbal score was 145 on 170. I did not perform really well in verbal as compared to quants. Yeah. But that's because of my proficiency, probably. Yeah. Um, my TOEFL score was a uh, 95, um, wherein other my best score was speaking, which was 28. I do not remember the other sections. That's okay. Yeah. Um, and my preferred field, while I was actually pursuing the whole master's track, was information systems and data analytics. And I ended up getting data analytics where I wanted to. So, yeah. Got it. Okay. And, and did you have any work experience uh, 
No, I'm a fresher. Um, I'm a fresh 2019 graduate, and I came here in 2019. So, okay. okay. And what all colleges did you apply to? So, I had kept my applications really straight. So, I had just six applications, out of, out of which um, two were safe. Two of them moderate and two of them were really ambitious. So the admits that I had were from Sunny Buffalo for a master's in MIS. The next admit that I had was from Northeastern University for data analytics. And the last admit was George Mason for data analytics as well. Um, I was on a um, admission hold for quite a long time from University of Maryland College Park mm -hmm. for MIS. It's a very, very great course yeah um and the two rejections that i had one was from carnegie mellon which was always like a shot in the dark yeah yeah and my last one was ncsu uh, north carolina state university wherein i had applied for a course named msa master of science in analytics that's rated one of the um, top most programs for analytics in united states nice. so those were my six applications yep got it uh, why why george mason university um, so, like I said, out of the six applications that I did, four of them were analytics and two of them were information systems. The the, the other two admits that I had out of one, out of the, which one was um, uh, Sunny Buffalo, which was a one year course, really intensive and really inquisitive course. Uh, one of my best friend is actually in that same um, college. And um, the other admit that I had was Northeastern Data Analytics. I chose George Mason over data uh, over Northeastern because in the first place, George Mason's course is tailor made in such a way that it gives you the flexibility to choose from 11 different kinds of um, concentrations. So, for example, I'm a data analytics open concentration major. So I'm allowed to take in courses from applied predictive analytics. I'm allowed to take courses from business analytics. I'm allowed to take from my financial engineering. So the flexibility that I had of selecting the five courses, which were non-core, was way more than I would have had in any other um, any other university. So that that's awesome. So so you picked your college. Uh, how was your visa interview? Because that's very tricky. Because your brother is already in the right. United States. Uh, what, were you scared? Were you nervous? And how did it go? So I was really nervous about that whole aspect. So my my individual B1 visa, which is the visitor. Um, leisure visa which was which expired in 2016 because my previous visa which was stamped when I was coming here was when I was a minor so in 2016 when I had it stamped again um, I had a B1 visa on my um, on my passport before coming into the F1 visa um, interview so one thing was I had already visited United States before and the other thing was my brother is from the same university he is in the same place where I'm going um, and a lot of things. Plus, before, actually, I had also had my finances sponsored by him. Mm. They were not by my dad. So I was really nervous going into the interview. But the, the interviewer decided to not go down that path and not ask me a single question about why I had the visa or anything like that. I had my interview was like 45 seconds. Yeah. They, they asked me um, what my undergraduate was, why George Mason why I would like to do data analytics there. And one last question was that, um, yeah, the last question was, what was my GRE score? And then they were like, yeah, your visa is approved. So I was like, good for me, thanks. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, so before we actually get into the coursework and uh, like talk about uh, that part of it, uh, let's give quick just uh, understanding of fees. What is the uh, fees for uh, George Mason? So um, the fees is 1562, if I'm not wrong, per credit. And the whole data analytics course is 30 credits. It comes to around $45,000, which is pure fees. But there's also additional mandatory international student charge. There's also student insurance. There is also uh, an added um, distance education fee, which is if you want to take a course, which is online. Some people do it to save time. So that's about it. So I think it comes up comes up to be about fifty thousand dollars. Yes, fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. And and what about living cost? So um, a twin shared room would cost you about 
three fifty per month, three fifty dollars per month, and this will be without utilities and without your daily or without your um, groceries. So this comes up to around five hundred, including the groceries per month, and for an individual room, I think it would be around seven hundred because a twin shed is three fifty. So I'm yeah. guessing it should be around seven hundred. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Nice. And uh, so it's it's expensive. It's not like uh, not like cheap. Uh, it's no, it's not cheap. It's it's not as expensive as where you stay, but it's not very cheap too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And it uh, it is uh, well, my my mine is cheaper. Like my Chico is very very. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's it's very inexpensive. Uh, my life was like two twenty five. I had a personal bedroom. So. Oh. Yeah. Nice. I mean. As a, as a whole, there is a whole norm which says that California is expensive. So I was. <laughs> that's not true. Yeah, that's not yeah. true. And my per credit was three seventy two dollars. So. so. <laughs> is there like a credit transfer available, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, it's uh, way cheaper than uh, yours. Uh, mm. All right. So that's awesome. So you had roughly around seven. Six hundred monthly expenses and fifty thousand dollars as your tuition fees. Right. What about campus job opportunities? Do is that a lot, or does student get a lot? Uh, is it easy to get it? Uh, do you have one, and what? How did you get it? So, luckily enough, I was able to have an on campus on the first day of my graduate classes. Wow. I had a job at when I actually joined in. So. personal experience about george mason george mason has a lot of on campus of options so for example let's just keep away dining services for a minute dining services always hires because they always need people and they run 24/7 we have southside and ikes which are two of food halls which run 24/7 so they always need people other than that also there are a lot of opportunities for example the first semester i was working as a computer resource assistant at my own school of engineering which is the valjana school of engineering um therein so therein i was actually working 20 hours a week which was the absolute amount which i'm allowed to work that was my first semester and while i was working there i was also um trying and looking you know looking out for um assistantships around the school etc so i landed up getting an assistantship for the second semester so i i am a graduate teaching assistant at the same school of engineering where i study i take up an undergraduate course so yeah i mean speaking of on campus jobs there are a number of on campus jobs that i that are available on like in george mason for a fact i know a lot of people from other universities who might not be doing jobs now but they are doing jobs now considering they are in the second semester but most of my friends ended up having on campus jobs in the first semester itself and not just um, dining they were there were there were there were there were variety of jobs people were doing um technician event help there is there's also this um center for arts mm. this is a the, wherein wherein the shows actually happen that's where that's that was actually my first job and the next day i got in the computer resource assistant job nice so therein you have we have usher jobs which are really cool because you got get to watch all the shows and yeah so that that's how the whole on campus how, how did you get it how did you get the job uh, e like on the first day because that's kind of cool uh, what how what did you do to get it on the first day and so, how, yeah one thing was that i started applying early before coming in i had actually seen there there's this whole portal called gmu handshake which is actually handshake but they yeah, they customize yeah so so there 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 were a lot of postings we, i kept applying but nothing came up because actually i was in india and even if i had to i i i think i got an interview but i couldn't do it because they were asking me to come on campus which was not possible because i was there yeah um so to get a job on the first day so i started looking for jobs as soon as i landed here so i landed here on the 23rd of july on the 24th i was on campus looking out for jobs and honestly there are there are things which are not always mentioned on websites you have to know for a fact that personal personal touch giving going ahead and talking to people will also land you good jobs 100% yeah. yeah so for example i went to the cfa they gave me a form and i filled that form so i got a call back and they said that you would like to interview for that position so that was how i got my first one but the second one was again the the real job that i actually did the student resource assistant job was through handshake i applied to that and then they actually called me up and they were like we would like to set up an interview 
and I was like, okay, sure. And then they went ahead and set up an interview, and the decision came in, I think, two days. And then I joined that one next month. What was the interview like? So the interview was primarily based on how well I can troubleshoot, um, and also situation analysis. So, for example, there was a question that my manager asked. He said, um, "Let's assume we have three people. One of them was is on a." is on a call, phone call and he's asking you a question one of them is at your door and there's another email that you've gotten what would be the series of responses that you would do which one is the one which you would, you would attend first this is like a very classic um yeah. situation yeah. analysis question so that was one of the things that he asked he was more concerned about how well i know a particular um troubleshooting I, yeah yeah so he asked me what what would be your way of you know doing something for example let's assume if you had if you had a computer and that computer is not working well what would be your what would be your first look at it and what would you do so i went ahead and told him that i would probably clear cache or probably just free out some ram etc so that's that's those were the set of questions that he actually asked got it got it nice and what's the salary range for those kind of positions so my student assistant position that i had for the first semester paid me 14 dollars an hour yeah nice. and yeah so that was that was actually a really well paying job the 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 only difference between that job and the job that i have now is actually tuition fee waiver that i get as a gta i get um so the total stipend is 10500 a uh, semester out of which 4500 dollars is um purely tuition fee waiver the rest is what you get as money which you can use for your monthly expenses etc it's a biweekly payment system so so that's so cool i mean you 10500 dollars per semester and you right. know of course 4500 dollars is a small amount but it still helps uh, with your tuition right. fees it's a, like, it's almost like getting two courses it's like two courses getting in state so our in state fees is 700 dollars per credit mm-hmm. so they actually just do two courses um which is in state credit so that's cool yeah that's awesome man that's awesome Uh, let's talk about uh, coursework. Uh, your coursework is it Masters of Science in Data Analytics or is is it Masters in Data Analytics? It's Masters of Science in Data Analytics Engineering. Got it. So as the coursework, I'm so sorry to interrupt this video. I wanted to divide this into two parts. Uh, technically, it's a three-part video series. In the next part, we talk about the coursework. Uh, what are the electives? What are the core courses? The professors, the assignments, and detail of coursework. And then the third part, we talk about how Harsha got internship at Micron as data analyst. And I hope this video provided a lot of value. If you are still watching this uh, until here, please like, share, and comment, and let me know your thoughts. Uh, that encourages me to make more valuable content. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already. subscribe i'll see you guys on saturday the next part of this video will come on saturday until then keep smiling and keep hustling mm-hmm.